The life of a polar bear is feast or famine. But new video shows it's mostly famine. Researchers put cameras on nine polar bears in northern Alaska to see how well they're able to catch food. They chose to do the study in April because it's one of the easiest times for bears to catch seals, since that's when they're having pups. This is also when bears should be putting on most of their body fat for the year. But footage showed the bears actually lost weight. Four out of nine bears lost about two kilograms a day over the course of about 10 days. They're really highly dependent on being able to catch these seals that allow them to uh, put on a lot of, of uh, body mass to sustain them throughout the year. Bears aren't as successful in, in catching the seals as they have been um, historically, at least during this time of year. Lots of other studies have documented the effects that climate change has had on polar bears. Ice sheets are breaking up earlier, forcing the bears to move farther north, where hunting is harder because the water is deeper. But this study shows there are other factors at play. The ice sheets here, in April, haven't even begun to break up. But bears are still eating less than they used to, and researchers aren't really sure why. What they do know is bears are losing a lot of weight because they're using more energy than they're consuming in food. Polar bears sometimes try to catch seals in the water, but typically they just sit and wait to pounce on seals surfacing for air. Researchers discovered that this hunting style still requires lots of energy. In fact, their metabolisms are about 60% faster than scientists had assumed before the study. That means they need lots of food. Remember last year, when this video of an emaciated polar bear in the Canadian Arctic went viral? It put a compelling visual to the growing concern that polar bears are starving. Polar bears are going hungry, but it's the cubs that are suffering the most, because mothers can't find enough food to feed them. That's probably why this area lost 40% of its polar bears from 2001 to 2010. Experts say there's a lot more research to be done. Next, they hope to look at polar bear hunting at other times of the year to see how conditions change as the animals follow receding sea ice.